हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ श्रद्धा अनिल राव तोड़ेवाले स्टडिंग इन बीएससी सेकंड ईयर फ्रॉम आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसाइटी हिंगोली अंडर एसआरटीएम यूनिवर्सिटी नांदेड़ सो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस ऑनलाइन सेशन इन दिस ऑनलाइन सेशन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट बुलजानो वेस्टास थेरम फॉर सिक्वेंस दिस थेरम इज मेनली एक्सप्रेस बाय टू साइंटिस्ट दैट इज Bernard Bolzano and Carl Weierstrass It was actually proved by Bolzano in 1817 It has essential theorem for analysis So friends before moving to this theorem first of all we have to clear some basic concept about this theorem Firstly we have to know what is sequence a sequence whose domain is the set of natural number and range a set of real number is called sequence or also called as real sequence then we have to know what is bounded sequence if a sequence is bounded above as well as bounded below then the sequence is called as bounded sequence bounded above means if there exists a real number k such that every member of sequence s is less than or equal to k that is x is less than or equal to k for all x belongs to s and bounded below means if there exist a real number k such that every member of s is greater than or equal to k that is k is less than or equal to x for all x belongs to s then we have to know what is range the range or a range set is set consisting of all distinct elements of a sequence without repetition and without regard to the position of the term and lastly we have to know what is limit point a real number psi is a limit point of a set if every neighborhood of psi contains an infinite number of member of sequence s limit point is also called as cluster point or condensation point here this definition is for set so friends let's move towards our theorem the statement of this theorem is every bounded sequence has a limit point let's see our proof we have to take a sequence sn which is bounded we we know the definition of bounded sequence from above basic concepts and s is equal to uh, sn uh, such that n belongs to capital n be its range since the sequence is bounded to prove this theorem we have to take two possibilities first is s is finite means that the sequence contains limited members and second is s is infinite means the sequence contains unlimited members from first possibility if s is uh, finite then there exist at least one member xi belongs to s such that sn is equal to xi for an infinite number of values of n this means that every neighborhood open interval xi minus epsilon and xi plus epsilon contains sn for an infinite number of values of n and from second possibility when s is infinite but we take sequence sn is bounded already since by bolzano weierstrass theorem for set it has at least one limit point say xi again since xi is limit point of s therefore every neighborhood open interval xi minus epsilon and xi plus epsilon of epsilon contains an infinite number of s that is sn belongs to open interval xi minus epsilon and xi plus epsilon for infinite value of n hence xi is limit point of the sequence uh, for both possibilities s is finite as well as s is infinite Thank you for watching this video.